Hey besties, welcome back to my YouTube channel and if you're here for the first time, my name is Tawan Telezi, probably known as Tia Smith and Okay, you can ask her what she's drinking <laughs> and I am back with another um, Not another whiskey sour with a new weekly vlog. This intro is so weird But it's because I forgot to make one um, outside. I am at a dinner bistro in Maru's Ark with my friend and we're about to have lunch So join us. Hi bestie Reuniting and it feels so good. We're reuniting more this year, hey? Love it. Love and we're matching. <laughs> so yeah, I went to Mara's Oak earlier, but I'll pull you guys on that later. Outside of the noise, but let's have some Hello besties, it's Keith the Lighting. I'm back home from Aduna with my best friend. Um, she is in Santon. She's booked in before she goes back home tomorrow. And I look so pretty. This is not the girl that you guys saw earlier. Unfortunately, my camera died while I was at Aduna. Um, so I just drove straight back home, was stuck in so much traffic. And then when I got home, I just decided to leave my battery in the charger, get my makeup done, and then install this wig. The wig review should probably be up before the vlog. Um, yeah, I'm so exhausted, actually. I can't believe, like, I know I complain about this, like, in almost every vlog, but I was at the office today. I don't know if I told you. Actually, let's get started. I just greeted you guys when I was at Aduna because I randomly started that vlog. If I was not going to start it then, it was not going to start, you know. So I went to um, the office this morning. I got so much work done. I kind of want to put this lighting up. Okay, cool. If it's going to make any much of a difference. But I went to the office, worked. And oh! You know what, I removed my screen protector, so I actually don't have the luxury to be doing what I'm doing now. Yeah, I actually don't have the luxury to be doing this. But I went to the office, got some work done, and then I left the office at 1. I initially thought that I'm taking a lunch break, but it turned out into like the rest of my afternoon. I then went to the capital to go inside to inspect. I really want to do a lunch on, but... I'm not promising you guys anything. I really like the venue. It's got like a conference type setup. 
and then it also has like an area where we can have lunch and I think the prices are quite reasonable also and then I went to across the road where Aduna is by Melrose Arc and I had lunch with my best friend and then yeah so I was stuck in so much traffic the reason why I was telling you about me going to the office is because I was trying to say I feel like in every vlog I complain about how I literally have a 9 to 5 which is where I went in the morning and then I'm also like a digital creator uh, which means that I oh which means that I have to create content for YouTube and then I'm also an events company owner an events company called Sit and Sip meaning I had to site inspect and then I also am a YouTuber slash beauty whatever you call it where my side hustle includes wig review so i had to come home put on my makeup wig review i'm going back to edit and then right after that i have to study because my first exam is on friday and today is tuesday all of those things one man one day 24 hours not even 24 hours because i have to at least sleep eight so you know what's going and g1 but it's okay Fortunately, I don't really feel tired. The best thing that I've done for myself this month is to leave alcohol. I am on Oxoba. So earlier on, my friend was getting cocktails. I was like, guys, I'm strictly having mocktails. Like, and as much as it's great to like drink, but alcohol really slows me down. So I know that if I had had like a cocktail or two, I would have come home really tired and exhausted. So um, yeah, I'm glad that I didn't do that. So I'm feeling very energized. And I think I'll be able to just like spend some time editing and uploading these things and then call it a day and see what tomorrow has for me. I don't think I'll be at the office tomorrow because I really am exhausted and I and, and I have to study. So if I do go to the office tomorrow, I won't go to the office on Thursday. But anyway, you guys can tell that I'm already tired. Let's call it a day and we'll try again tomorrow. Bye. I hope you guys are well. Today is a Wednesday. It is 11.51 and I'm on my way from the office to Santon. You know what? I've actually just... I don't even know what I want to say, but I just wanted to like probably greet you guys, welcome you to a brand new day, just let you know that I'm from the office and yeah, and I'm just quickly going to Santon. To go pick up a wig but i think i want to take lunch <sighs> guys i wish i had a way of balancing like vlogtober and office hours and 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 but it's fine learn around about that again so i'm hoping that we can just grab lunch together or something and then go back to the office let's go <laughs> Hello, it's 
my best of friends. Today is a Thursday. Wait, I need something very quickly. Sorry for being so rude. Today is a Thursday and can I tell you that I was being so forward when I decided to go against the doctor's order and go back to work when I should have rested my ass in bed. Excuse my language. So um, then the doctor gave orders that I should be in bed. So I spent my day in bed literally which is quite an inconvenience because one it's a vlogtober and two it's exam season my first exam is tomorrow so it's like how are we gonna make that work if i must sit my bum in bed but anyway that's what we did and then i only got out of bed around four o'clock just to shower freshen up feel grand and go to woolies there's a recipe that i saw on instagram that really touched my heart i'm kidding you have uh, that I just wanted to do so I went out to go and get baby potatoes I hate how when we go to the shops and it's just for one item we come back bearing 50 so this is it it's garlic mushrooms um, and some baby potatoes right and some parsley salt chili flakes there you go so i want to do that with some red meat and let's see how that goes really let me just give you a whole of what i got and then what me i hate that khasha khasha sound when people unbox things yo i can't stand it but I actually can't believe how hectic our economy is. I saw this from Tati. She is the girl she thinks she is. She tastes so scrumptious. I mean, I really enjoy Red Bull. So, in this flavor, I think I'm sold. We'd also swear that there are kids that live in this house, and it's just two grown adults that really enjoy sucking out of these bottles. And um, he enjoys these as well. So, yeah, I want to try this out. But I hate how it comes in a tin. I enjoy the, I know what brand it is, but the one that you can get from like Pick and Pay and Spa. And then you can, like it's, the packaging is resealable. But anyway, let's get cooking. So, these say that you must put them in the microwave for 10 minutes, right? So instead of boiling them, I'm going to put them in the microwave for 10 minutes. Because the recipe says that we should boil.
do no more what I think about you If it's loving that you want, then you should make me your girl, your girl If it's loving that you need, then baby come and share my world, share my world. Oh, oh, oh. If it's loving that you want, come and take a walk with me to say before I leave because I am about to go and study um, just a few study tips really study smart not hard because you're gonna exhaust your brain I've probably said this before but the best way that I study is using post papers so I assume that you have been following the curriculum like throughout the semester so you know what's going on you have an idea of what's going on and um, if you're like me and you have summaries throughout the semester, you can just briefly go through them just to refresh your mind and to remind yourself of what's going on. But use past papers that are accessible on websites such as STUD, STUD, U, Studio, Com, or something like that. Just search for, for that. Or Stuvia, S T U V I A. But I will also link them down below. Especially for UNISA students, they usually have past papers and um, I know when I went to UJ, the website did have um, a section for past exam papers as well. Whatever university that you go through, go to, I think that they should make it accessible for you to access past papers. This will give you an idea of one, their line of questioning, what you should expect from them and um, yeah, how they ask their questions, their multiple choices. Um, essays or paragraphs so that you just don't get to the exam paper surprised and let me tell you most of the time a good 40% of the questions that they ask in this year's exam um, have been taken from the past exam paper so yeah that, those are just like my study tips personally if you guys do have study tips please just like leave them in the comment section for other besties as well that need them and yeah, I wish you guys all the best because I do know that there's some of you that are starting with exams right now. It's the last push, guys. If you're in final year, Sabawal, it is the last push. Push and do your very best. If you're in first year, um, I know that you had learning curve in the first semester. Second semester does get a bit hard because it is quite short. Um, but I know that or hope that you know how to write university exams better now because of what you went through. First semester and I genuinely wish everyone the best guys. I am in second year, so yeah Year number four seems so far, but we're gonna continue pushing so I genuinely wish everyone the best and Some until funda guys Life is so much better when you're educated Life is so much better I think you just have a better you have better opportunities and I really believe that I come from a family of people that aren't educated like in the sense that their last level of education was matric and it's so hard like I don't want to say empowering them but maybe you've got like business opportunities which I don't have at the moment because I do get a lot of DMs asking if we've got any vacancies but maybe find that someone else that I know is looking for someone to do something but the last level of education is matric and I really just want to motivate 
people that feel like they can't or people that feel like they're too old there's no such thing or people that feel like I don't know whatever excuse that you're feeding yourself or feeling like you're incapable of going to school please do that I will always push for education my first degree for those of you that don't know is an HR related degree I initially studied public management and governance at the University of Johannesburg my modules were business management human resource management which is what I majored in my final year politics and it was English, politics, business, HR, and public admin itself. So I had like five modules and I was supposed to initially do my honors in HR. And then because I thought I'm just going to go the HR route. So my friends did honors and my one friend is graduating tomorrow. If you guys remember in my other other vlog, I went to Tasha Cobb's concert with Matepo. Shout out to Matepo because she is graduating um, tomorrow. She's graduating honors and I'm so proud of her. That would have been me if you know i studied as well which is why i'm saying at the end of the day like time is gonna come the time is gonna come the three years if you feel like oh yeah but studying has three years the three years is still gonna come so even if i was lazy to do um human resources let's say for example i didn't do or start my second degree if i did not want to like study at all and be like ah, oh, no, i'm not gonna do my honors whatever my friends are graduating tomorrow, so imagine if I was sitting and doing nothing, how I would feel. So the time is going to come, so you might as well use it wisely. Right now, my friend is doing an internship, um, HR related. She's getting her um, honors degree in her hands tomorrow. So, you know what, I just want to motivate the girlies to go study. Life is, you know, great and glamorous and, you know, what we see on the gram and we're all about lifestyle. But at the end of the day, those people are one educated or they're entrepreneurs. And I believe that even though they're entrepreneurs, they still master their craft in some way or another. You don't have to go through like an entire university journey. You can do short courses via NISA, business management courses. Um, you can do, you know, little six months, three months courses um, that you guys can do. But just always work towards educating yourself, bettering yourself. I mean, silly example. I could have been content with my first degree and as much as with that degree it's kind of hard to get um, vacancies because it is government centered but unfortunately I majored in HR so I, I, I was or am able to get an HR related job which is what I do right now. I am an HR manager and I love that I am exploring or fulfilling or in practice doing what I studied. However, I still wanted more so I'm doing my LLB degree, which is what I initially wanted when I matriculated in 2018, that didn't happen, but it didn't mean that those dreams had to like just sit on the shelf, you know, I'm still, I still am going after them. So I just want to say, and I'm only 22, so you can do it as well. I'm doing it for the little girls that are in matric that don't know what to do. Am I taking a gap year? I highly don't advise a gap year. Go to varsity, you'll figure it out later. Um, like myself, I really just figured it out later, I did my first degree and then later I was like, okay, actually, let me still go for my LB degree, but I didn't sit at home. You know, I'm doing it for um, the graduates who still want to advance and climb the corporate ladder, but, you know, their degrees, bachelor degrees are restricting them. Go for your honours. Honours have like night sessions and stuff, or your PhD or masters, but especially as women, always, always strive to empower yourself. No matter how promising life can be and there's marriage and there's Mr. B and there's... Mr. B has his LLB degree, let me tell you. He owns a law firm, he owns so many other companies and he sits on the board of like so many companies that I aspire to one day work for, you know. Um, he'll always tell a story, probably he'll tell it himself, I'm actually enjoying this conversation. Um, but he had his LLB degree from a very impoverished background and he did exceedingly well that he was headhunted by Bowman and Dufillin, one of the biggest um, law firms in our country. He worked there and he did exceedingly well there that they sent him to go and practice in New York. It's probably told the story. What an missing opportunity to tell you guys about it. And you know, like coming from KZN, 
to going to work in New York because you studied. Do you understand the different types of doors that education opens for you? To coming back and then working on the board of SAA. Like, I think that is insane. Like, a guy from... He really motivates me so much, yeah, boy. So he is where he is today because of education. Because of his LLB degree, you know. And just pushing to want to be the best. Which is my other point. Like, in as much as you can't, like graduate and study but also always strive to be the top of your class or the best or just just making it you know um yeah so he is where he is today with his own law firm and and i can't then sit and act like oh no it's fine we all aspire to get married rich or married wealthy or married to you know but what about you god forbid tomorrow something happens to him he's gone he's go he's you know graveyards um are places buried where dreams are buried, you know. So they is buried with his LLB. God forbid, like I said, I can't imagine life without my husband. But there he is now with Ulama Kuku and there goes his LLB six feet under. And I sat and didn't achieve mine because I'm saying, Oh no, he's got us. He's got the finances in the house. He's got. So even my married girlies, my moms, um, you know, young moms, guys, go after your dreams. Thank you so much for coming to my TED talk. I think that was for me as well. I had to remind myself I wanted to do this because I have been feeling like dropping out um, recently. But you know what? Let me go get this LB. And you, you go do the same thing. Not your LB, but go do something, girlfriend. <laughs> I am at the airport again at this point you just know that in every video i'm either picking up mr b or dropping him off in every single video i'm at lancera airport uh mr b is flying out but fortunately um he's just flying in for a meeting and back today so it's currently 10 to 12. his flight is now at 12 and then i'll pick him up later at night um and then what else oh i'm picking up our son today we haven't seen him in so long and that's just because mr b has been out of town every weekend um so for those of you that don't know we pick up our son like on the weekends or holidays and he comes over so i've just been like very sick lately in my post videos i've just been like on bed rest and 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 i still am on bed rest until next week I don't know sometime next week um but um it's exam season so bad bed rest bed rest is a bit tough but i'm trying so i wrote my first exam today in my last video i told you guys to um study through post papers can i tell you the exact paper yeah 2020 because i usually like studying like recent past papers either i study 2019 like anything within the four-year gap exact paper yeah 2020 is what we wrote today i was so shocked because i studied 19 20 21 and 22 yeah i studied four past papers tell me why it was egg exactly this i think they were just being lazy so i'm guaranteed a distinction at this point and that's why it's so important to study past papers because literally you're gonna find questions in past papers in your current paper if not similar so yeah i am on my way to go pick up our son i'm hoping to take him out for lunch because i really don't wanna and as much as like i'm sick and i should be home i don't want him to feel bored and at home like you know why should be why should he be at home chilling because you know so i'll wait for mr b I'm just gonna take him out and then we can like grab lunch she can go to Papuccino's. he can go and play and then we will go home and then prepare to come and get mr b so let's see how the day goes and where it takes us but yeah, I just wanted to formally greet you guys and get the stage started. This wig, you guys already know, but it's so hard. So I need to take it off today and possibly put on straight hair. If not today, then tomorrow. But I don't really have like any planned plans for the weekend. Um, yeah, but you know what? Let's go. Oh, nice. 
Hello stranger, it's been a minute since we last kicked it And by the way, just got in town And I won't let you in this cloud It's all in the sky, ruin my vibe Usually I don't do this often But since recruiting isn't an option you to want you Hand on my menu. <laughs> Is this hand? Come on, come on, come on. One thing about people. Hello, my angel. Hello. How are you? Welcome Tired. to my channel. Oh, welcome Tired. back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Guys, <laughs> look at these feeties. I'm babysitting the cutest little boy. These feeties. These feeties. DJ, come on. DJ. DJ, buffle, 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 Yes, buffle, Yes, Papa. Yes, Papa. Yes, Papa. Even though I got the cake, but do what it takes. 
and I never been embraced. And the money's hard to make, so I bet they on their face right now. When he tell the story, that's not how I went. Know they be lying a hundred percent. Moved out of the wrist and forgot about that bit. Why they just call me to tell me come get it? Now that boy off and I don't want no credit. If it was me, they wouldn't regret it. Let me be dead and now they won't get it. Heart is still bleeding, my niggas still eat it. That girl they look like the garden they eat it. Tell those hoes that I'm spilling the tea and they shawty came back and said she didn't mean it. It's hard to believe it. I know that they had the crib gone crazy down there. What they had didn't last. Damn, baby.